All right, guys, so I guess you've heard about the recall on the water pumps. And you really don't know whether your water pump bearing is loose or not until you release that serpentine belt and, uh, and check it. Now, I've been hearing a little squeak when I shut my truck down. I don't think it's related to it, but I'm going to go ahead and check my water pump bearing just to see. So I looked at this pretty closely and then there's a lot of ways you can do it. Uh, you can take the shroud off the fan and you know there's, a, there's quite a few ways a person can approach this but I think I figured out a way where you can do it without taking off anything. I'm going to go in from underneath and uh, you can see I got my light set up here. This is from the front of the truck, as you can see. So let's go ahead and do that. There's your idler pulley right here. So we just need to get up in there and uh, stab her in there like I just did like that okay now you need to be your socket needs to be in the loosening position by the way and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull her all the way over and I'm gonna tie it off right here so that I'm not gonna take my belt off completely I'm just gonna release that tension on it I'm just going to uh, take a piece of rope here There you go. And then I think I'll go, I can't really see over there, but I'm gonna go around this piece here. You don't need 15 foot of rope, but you do need to hold it. So, okay, now we're gonna take the tension off the belt. Okay, I've got the tension off the belt. So now I need to tie it off. Okay, so there you have it. I have the tension all the way off and I've got my rope here and I'm just gonna put me some wraps and some some poor boy loops on it just so that it doesn't come loose. I think that's pretty good right there. So my belt's a loose right now. It's a loose, I could pull it off if I wanted to, you see? Can you see that right there? No, you can't. You can see, you can see my water pump right there. I just checked it. I'll check it again. You won't be, you won't be able to see me do it, but what the noise you hear there is just rubbing against the belt. I'm moving it, checking for play in the bearing. It's there's absolutely no play in the bearing at all. So I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. So let's go ahead and release my, my poor boy clamp here. And that will release the tension on the, as you can see it just did. All right. So there you have it. Take our, like I say, put your ratchet in the in the uh, off position. Now, what I used worked perfectly. Let me get it out here where you can see it. I had a piece of half-inch electrical conduit. That's all that is. Looks like it's about. I don't know, two foot long, doesn't matter, doesn't matter at all. Longer the better, as long as it doesn't hit, hit the ground. And uh, these are the three things you're going to need right here. That's the most critical thing. And you need to have your ratchet set so that it's going to 
counterclockwise, take it off. Whatever that stupid saying there is, uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey or some shit, I don't know. I just know counterclockwise releases things and clockwise tightens things. Um, so uh, that's what you need. And I was very fortunate, oh it doesn't matter again, but I was fortunate that this is really a nice snug fit. It's almost perfect. So that's my assembly. And that's the way I did it guys. Uh, if you want to check your belt, that's a good way to do it. Go from the bottom. Go from the bottom to take the tension off the tensioner. Go from the top with your hand to actually feel it and see what it feels like. And, uh, you know, that's going to tell you. Feel is everything on this. There's no way to measure anything. You put your hand on it and you feel it. You pull on it. Look for any kind of looseness in that bearing. Anything. Any looseness at all and it's bad. So, um, and any kind of noise and it's bad. But this one looks good so I feel a little better about it because I'm fixing to take a 500 mile trip here and I hate to have to deal with that on this trip. So I hope this helps. Till next time. Adios.